Hello everyone, this is Scott Guider, a.k.a. Gruesome Herzog, and the character of Cephas from the hit franchise series, The Hillbilly Horror Show. If you want to check out more about The Hillbilly Horror Show, go to www.hillbillyhorrorshow.com. Hello everyone, my next review is called House by the Lake in 2016. I'm going to give special thanks to Random Media for sending me a link to review for my podcast. Wow. House by the Lake in 2016 is directed by Adam Garush. Writers Mark Detrena and Josh Burnell. Storyline. A struggling married couple try to reconnect at an idyllic lake house, but their relationship is tested when a daughter begins to fixate on an imaginary friend that may or may not be real. Cool ass film. Anne Dudick as Karen. James Callis as Scott. Amia Miller as Emma. Michael Bowen as Harry. Lee Garlington as Dr. Llewellyn. Natasha Bassett as Gwyn. Guy Nardoli as Galuzzo. Mark Berry as McKendry, and John Fidel as the Fishman. Yes, the Fishman. Very clever film. This movie makes you think one thing and turns out to be another. When you hear a title by the name of House by the Lake, what's the first thing that comes in your mind? What's the most common films being made today? Yeah. Paranormal films, correct? It's not. Now, of course, you can watch the trailer and get an idea that it's not. However, I posted this trailer on my uh, website, uh, movietrailersgalore.com. And then I contacted uh, Random Media. And, of course, the rest is history. The film here... A girl, 10 years old, autistic, mother and dad, mom and dad take daughter to a lake house owned by her dad's parents, her grandparents. Cool ass cabin by the lake, beautiful home. Well, she's scared of water. And of course, there has to be a lake by the water, by the house. And, of course, they get a nanny. Of course, the nanny is young, pretty, and uh, typical film, you know. Well, strange stuff started happening, like water under the door. She sleepwalks. Then it really gets interesting. Of course, the mother and father start fighting because, you know, they're struggling with an autistic daughter. There's a uh, neighbor, creepy guy, says to her, listen, listen. Then she claims to hear fish. Well, fish man, you heard me say it earlier. I like this film very much. When you see the fish man later on in the film, done very well wasn't overdone I'm glad because if it did the movie would have fell flat in his face because you know some people like to have that creature in the film all the time but when you have just enough the ending was fucking weird a good weird House by the Lake again people who haven't seen it check it out it's uh, an awesome film it really is I the pacing of it was pretty quick. I mean, there's a scene in the movie where I went, oh, here it comes. You know how married couples have a nanny. And most movies, oh, the father has an affair with a nanny or getting obsessed with a nanny. Not the case in this film, but there's, you know, you know how it is. I'm not saying it is. Well acted, shot very well, an awesome storyline, and the fish man character was, I thought, was fucking cool. Kind of throws me back to uh, 
eighties. Like Swamp Thing, or you know, not that type of character, but you know what I mean. You get it. It's pretty fucking cool. And then the end of the film, I'm not gonna say what it is, but he comes to the house. I really dug this film very much. Definitely check it out. House by the Lake in 2016. It's well worth a watch. Fucking amazing film. This is Grissom Herzog. I give this film an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed this one very much. So hopefully you guys will too. Check it out. Random Media. House by the Lake in 2016. This is Grissom Herzog. And I'm out of here.